It's going to be a busy day tomorrow. Dozens of volunteers will be out in force to clean the Alawai Boat Harbor. Yeah, Jai live there with much more of the scope of work that's going to be done. Good morning, Jai. Hey, good morning to you, Ron and Diane. Yeah, actually out here at the Ottawa Harbor this morning and not too bad, uh, but you can still see that there is trash in the Ottawa Harbor. So even when we say, hey, this is a pretty good day, you can still see that there is trash. Some of it uh, is just washing down from the mountain, wood and things like that. Other parts, you can tell uh, someone dumped a glove into the Alloway Harbor. There are a lot of different things that are collected in this harbor. And tomorrow, as you guys were saying, going to be a big cleanup. Uh, let's welcome in Frank Ruiz, because he's the one who's going to be uh, directing this cleanup. Hey, Frank, you guys have done this three times before. Tell me about the success you've had. Yeah, in October of last year, we pulled out four tons. That was our first cleanup. That was mostly on that side. And then uh, in November, we pulled out eight tons, and that was right here. And you could practically walk on it. It was so thick. And we really made an impact that time because w when we took out the eight tons, it loosened up and was able to, to go back out to sea and, and move around. And then in January, uh, just recently, we did another one, and we pulled out another four tons. Does it, how it makes you feel? Uh, you're someone who's worked uh, on or near the ocean for uh, more than a quarter, uh, quarter century. Uh, when you see this, especially when you see man-made stuff, how does that make you feel? Well, it, it, it was very fulfilling the last time. We were able to get most, almost all of it out. But uh, I can't stand to see the ocean littered like this. I mean, it's, it's just, uh, it's terrible. What can I tell you? If someone wanted to help tomorrow what time could they meet you guys and then when we look around the boat harbor there are a number of people who call this sort of home and you said at least in one case you've had uh, a boat owner that's helped out yeah mike down here he uh he got out his dinghy and he was helping us and he, he helped out a great deal uh and tomorrow if you want you can come down we'll be on the diamond head side of of the uh, harbor over by the uh over by the boat ramp we're set up some tables and chairs by the grass and you can come down get a t-shirt and join us join up with us we'd, we'd welcome you a great deal i was going to say and when i look at that t-shirt there is a website that, yeah, that you th would like people it. to see pumapunkuhawaii.com you can go there you can see all the trash we've pulled out you can see all the videos of us on tv and our, our radio show we've been on the john nolan show four times <laughs> and uh that's where you can see it and you can also make a donation there if we could really put it to use all right frank thank you very much now in the next hour we're going to talk about uh, expansion plans that frank wants to have and and uh, what he envisions seeing statewide and before i send it back into the wake up today studio uh, i want to talk to my old friend ron here uh, i bet you did not think today we would get a john nolan reference on the kh22 <laughs> news and i know john is probably watching He's us watching. right now he's watching yeah, thanks, Jai, and you're right. Uh, John Nolan, of course, a long-time employee here at the KHO2. Good friend. Of four us. times on John's show. Yeah. And if you're on John's show four times, then you know you you've arrived. Somebody.